And now, it's time for News from the Chin with John Z. Matthews. There are a number of infections that you can get from oral sex. So be careful out there. Better watch out. You have herpes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Genital herpes, one of the many infections you can contract from oral. And there, well, you, there are several types, but that means that one person having oral sex with another person can give either one of those types of the viruses to their partner. So if you got like herpes two on your dick, you can give someone herpes two in their mouth. Looks that way. And vice versa, Boy. herpes one. I don't want that. Herpes one on herpes. If you're gonna have any type of herpes on your genitalia, it's herpes one. Why? It just doesn't come up as much. I do research on this shit. <laughs> as a herpes one survivor. Oh, so how often do you have these flare ups when things? I've been. I got that fucking. I got like the bootleg Valtrex. So anytime, I, like anytime, I feel like I'm coming down with a cold or I'm worn out, I just start popping that shit and get ahead of it. So. I don't. I feel like I've gone like I don't like pretty long. Hmm. It's probably the longest I've gone. Chlamydia on the list. The old clap it. Clap. It's chlamydia to clap. I never knew. You get chlamydia, huh? Oh sure. Now a doctor here said we aren't even really sure how often people get throat infections with chlamydia, but it's happening. So. I got the other one when the girl had the that shit in her throat. And then she gave it to me in, in my penis. Ugh. Strep dick, <laughs> as I called it. Also, Jude, the clap is known as gonorrhea. <laughs> gonorrhea is a clap. You'd think it'd be chlamydia. But... Well, it's got the same cluh, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> we, should, we should change that. They both start with cluh. <laughs> Syphilis can cause sores spread through vaginal, anal, and oral. Highly contagious. Hey, hey, hey. That hey. one is bad, isn't it? Syphilis. I mean, you really don't want syphilis. Nah. Nah, syphilis is a. I think that's what killed Al Capone. Yeah, that's. He had syphilis in prison and just died, I think. And despite what some think, HIV, you can you can transmit that. You can get the HIV? Sure. How? HIV can, can be transmitted from oral genital sex in fellatio if there is ejaculation into the mouth and throat. And there's like an open wound in there or some shit. But it can happen even without ejaculation. But yeah, you could have sores in your mouth or something, and it, it penetrates. Yeah, his Al Capone died in uh, January twenty fifth, nineteen forty seven, from cardiac arrest. Triggered by, yep. triggered, by triggered by syphilis. Hepatitis A, B, and C. Damn. The Trichomoniasis. Trick. Which is a parasitic infection. He. So be careful this weekend, y'all. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Bring us down for the weekend. I know, man. Fuck, dude. What a bummer. Well, just, well, just look at it. That's, uh, I'm just, that's why I'm the safest guy in here. <laughs> Call me Mr. Safe Dick. Would you ever kiss a hooker? Sort of off topic there. A prostitute? Um, nah, but I had I'd have uh I write about it in the in the old bookity book in Hummingbird. I had uh did oral sex to one of that's the, right the ladies of the night. I'm surprised she let me to be all the way real with you. With, without the dental dam, no no dental dam. Smelled like pine saw and Newports in her place. It was Ugh. fucking. Real bummer. Hummingbird. <laughs> Check it out. So the flat earthers, they're still trying to gain some steam. And now yeah. there's a cruise that will set sail to Antarctica uh, to visit the ice wall at the edge of the planet. They're so fucking dumb. <laughs> it's crazy the the lengths stupid people. Like, it's well, not just dumb. Like, all people, they will go to lengths... Uh, to prove themselves right. And 
through this uh, website that focuses on this stuff, the Flat Earth International Conference, they just have a stay tuned. And they have a photo up there of a, a cruise ship. Confirmation bias is what they're doing. That, that's what that is. All they got, hey, instead of going, instead of going down, bang a left, and just keep, <laughs> keep, keep, keep going all around the world. I swear to God, you, you can go all around the world if you just don't go down. You won't run into Antarctica. Now Proof. You... <laughs> Fucking morons. And you can see the uh, the wall of idiots that you'll be spending time with. These are the experts that will be on the cruise with you, so you can hang out and talk about it's, it's you. Matt Long, Mark Sargent, Bob Nodal, Daryl Daryl Marble. What's this guy all about? He's a token black guy. Yeah, I had to, I had to bring one one of the brothers on there. Oh, now it's my what, uh, hit play on that. Let's see. Oh, he's is he British? Uh, no, he uh, is from Arkansas. Oh shit! Better known as D Marble. D Marble in uh, this bitch. Let's see what D Marble has to say. Twenty three minutes long. All right, so it's cute. That was that was real cute. How they just left that up there. Anyway, um, so. You know, they decided to do that, another hit piece. But it looks hit like the whole damage control him. thing is going kind of wrong because 3,800 shares, that's not really doing a whole lot for keeping Flat Earth under wraps. But we'll continue. Um, oh, my so, God. So, yeah, the Earth is flat. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's the guy. They actually quoted this guy, and it's not even a real name, Articulus Infractus. And they actually used the quote by this guy. Obviously, somebody was too lazy to do their own writing. But let's move on. Uh, now we got uh, oh my God. Pickle Nine, uh, another article what the fuck or, he's or doing a tablet per just... minute. That would have been a constant downward slope. Oh, here we go. Uh, if I understand correctly. Also, well, how about you check out this quick video from Ryan Schuler and see what this pilot had to say. Hey, I just want to say thanks for the swift flight. All right. I have, I have one question. Is there like a specific angle of downward tilt you have to fly at to three degrees? Three degrees for the curvature of the Earth? Oh, for the Earth? Because yeah, no, we just fly over over the troposphere. Really? Yeah. All right, man. I can't. I can't. Yeah. I, I can't, man. <laughs> Jeez. Like I was in the army. The worst shit is, is like. I don't even understand what they're saying. I just know they're wrong. Nor do they. Nor do they. <laughs> what is the angle that you landed at? I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm like, <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. Man, come marble. on, man. I thought, we, I thought we had this argument fucking 600 years ago and squashed it. Internet, internet just be dragging up old shit. Like an angry, like your angry ex-girlfriend. Just dragging up old shit. Fucking ridiculous. Well, how much, does it say how much the tickets are? No, there's very little information. And if I were to guess, this probably won't even happen. I mean, how are they going to get a cruise ship and enough of these idiots to go out there? They can rent. Yo, there's a gang of flat earthers, bro. We got flat earthers that listen. I know, it always makes me sad. I, not me. It means that like we have a very diverse audience. Right. Flat Earthers. Hey. Uh, well, there it is. I got nothing else to say, man. Like, visit the just edge. Go left, bro. Instead of going straight, bang a left or a right, and go around the world. All right. So some people online they're doing this. It's not really a Florida Man challenge, but someone realized, hey, if you type in Florida Man and then your date and the date, of course, some wacky headline will come up. So. All right, so what do we got to do? So you just type in Florida Man, and, and what's your birthday again? September twenty fifth. All right, Florida Man, September twenty fifth. Okay, let's see what happened right. on that day. Uh, da, da, da. Let's see. What about you? A uh, Florida man throws a bicycle, then another man off the bridge. <laughs> That's pretty good. Florida man throws a bicycle, then other man off bridge with video. Oh. And that happened That happened just last year. How did I miss that one? I don't know. Oh, check it oh, out. Oh, hell yeah. There he is. Man, they got the video. It's ten minutes. All right, All right. we don't got time. Yeah. We don't got time for that shit. All right, what's your? Let's do you know? See. Do you remember your birthday, John? I uh, yes, uh, September twenty second. 
There it is. Florida man rides manatee, dares police to arrest him, then gets arrested. <laughs> so it does work. He's as big as a goddamn manatee. What, what's Chris? What's your birthday? It's uh, April twenty eighth. Let's see that. Uh, Florida man, April twenty eighth. Let's see what happens. Oh, Florida man shot roommate over cat hair on couch. <laughs> It's all going down in Florida. Yo, this Florida man shit is funny, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Florida Florida is special. That's awesome. Look at that one below, too. Policeman, a police arrest a man who karate kicks swans. <laughs> in Florida. Florida going Florida. So one thing you can count on Florida to do is Florida. So, of course, people are sharing these headlines on Twitter and things like that. Yeah, I got I to gotta post my shit. I post my Florida man shit. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I like it. It's a pretty good challenge. Now, if you're on ADHD drugs, be careful. It can lead to psychosis in some. Duh. That's when you uh, essentially just lose contact with reality. Yeah, man, it's you. It's speed. They're giving you speed. Have you ever done Adderall or Ritalin? Yeah, I've done. I've done it before. I just don't like it. What does it feel like? What, what happens? <sighs> One time, I thought it'd be cute to snort it on the air. Oh boy! And I got all <laughs> freaked out. So then I snorted some Xanax, and that kind of calmed me down. Uh, but I didn't like it. And then another time, I just ate some. It just gets you kind of like. You know when I would do it would would be after if i was like rolling and shit doing a bunch of ecstasy i would just like the next day i would just do a xanax and an adderall wow just to kind of give me a little pick me up but i know i know a few different people that in their 20s went crazy because they were they were doing they were doing like adderall and shit like that it just flicked it flipped a switch in them they just they, lost their shit. Were they doing it for medical reasons? They were just getting high off of it. I don't remember. I, yeah. I don't remember. I don't know. They, they probably got it prescribed at first and then started abusing it. Most people most people that do the ADD drug don't really need that shit. I'll say, well, I, let's say 50%. It's It's... It's over-prescribed. Yeah. And they're saying the findings are concerning because the use of amphetamines in adolescents and young people has more than tripled in recent years. Yeah. Like I, I told you, like, you know, when uh, back in school, you could, like, sign up for different, cl- like, one of your classes, you could sign up for to be, like, help out at the, at the office, in the office. So I did that where, like, I just sat in the office. I don't know. It was stupid. I don't know why I did that. I, I don't. I think I what just. What did you did, do? I got my job was just office assistant. They had all I did was have to go, it, like if someone had to go to the principal's office, they'd be like, "Go get that person, get, give them the pass." <laughs> they didn't have me doing that that much. I just sat there mostly. But my the point is, is this was fucking twenty five, twenty six years ago, and uh, one person in the whole school had to take. Like Ridlin, one person. I don't think I don't think there's a school in America where there's one person taking Rid, where there's one person taking that shit in junior high. Yeah, only one. Not a school in America. Drug them. Well, what is it supposed to do to kids if they're hyperactive? It just sort of- makes them constant, like makes them fucking focus and shit. Like, uh, yeah. Turns out, speed helps you focus. Hmm. And turns you a bit crazy. Yeah. That's what, what that's what them bums, too, man. They do all that. They do so much meth that they just go fucking nuts. Like, a lot of them cats is crazy, but they didn't start off that way. They went crazy. Woo. Oh, God. Watch out, y'all. This morning on the train, I made the mistake of meeting eyes with a homeless guy, and then he just came up and just, it was a stream of consciousness, like nonsense, for the whole ride. I'm just sitting like, please, just, I finally just stood up, I was like, I, I gotta get the fuck away from this guy. 
Oh, this is my stop. Get off. <laughs> Get off the here. bus. Wait for another one and shit. Pay two. How much? What does it cost to ride the bus now? Like two bucks. Dollar seventy five. Oh, that's close. That's reasonable. Yes, eye contact usually leads to more contact. Yeah, eye contact gets you more contact. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I'm not even, I was, I was going to go on some tirade about bums, and I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Can you guess the uh, most popular dog breed in America? <laughs> you had to guess. According to the American Kennel Club. <sighs> LA is all them little lap dogs, but LA is just one thing, you know. Probably like a golden retriever or labrador or some shit that is it which one uh sorry a labrador a lab yep that is the most popular breed i don't even know what the fuck they look like show me what the show me what the labs look like cute dogs let's see let's see what are the top yeah labrador is winning again they're good with kids oh they're cute oh those are all the labs let's see Man. All right, just give me the fucking list of top tens. I, I, I'll, I'll go look up what a Labrador looks right. like. <laughs> so you got your German Shepherd, which is kind of surprising again to me for some reason. Yeah, look at that. German Shepherd, number two. Golden, Golden Retriever. Retriever, number three. French Bulldogs, number four. Regular Bulldogs, number five. Beagles. Poodles, number seven. Rots. Oh, that, they, they, were pop, they were popping in the 90s. Everybody had a fucking rot in the 90s. Uh, pointers, Yorkshire Terriers. I see like more of those little fuckers. Yeah. Boxers, Dachshunds. Let's see what's all at the all the way at the bottom. Let's see. Uh, who's... What dog do they hate? Slogus. I don't even know what the fuck that is. What the hell is that? Yeah, Chinooks. <laughs> Slowy, a, a Slofy. Let's see. What they look like. It's coming up. Oh, they look like they look like uh, the, they look like them greyhounds. It's a North African breed of dog, specific, specifically a member of the sight hound family. It's found mainly in Morocco. Do they still have those greyhound races. I that think so. Seem, yeah. They seem kind of dark. At dog, any type of animal race is dark, dog. Yeah. Greyhound racing. I mean, you're definitely hardcore if you go into that. <laughs> yeah, sure, man. Yeah, any type of any type of animal fucking competition is gonna be dark, unless it's like best in show shit. Oh, okay. But like, if you dog fighting, dog racing, any of that, cock fighting. Yeah, cock fighting. That's that, that's pretty dark. <laughs> that's that's the extreme. It's all dark. I don't know. Doesn't bum me out that much, but whatever. <laughs> cockfight? It's not like I'm gonna go watch. I'm. Gonna, it's not like I'm gonna be like, hey, let's go to the cockfight. <laughs> but do you see how they? How uh, have you ever like taken a look at like indus like the industrial meat complex? Like how they be doing that shit? Sure. It's fucked up. Yeah. So it's like we're still. It's, we're just as guilty. We just don't see it. Do they at least eat the chickens after the cock dies? No. no, no. What do they do with it? Just throw it okay. away? It's going to eat cock. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they do with them afterwards. I don't even know if they... I don't even know how that shit goes. Do cocks fight to the death? Oh, absolutely. And they have little razors. Oh, they put their razors on them sure. bitches. Yeah, yeah, And they just tear them up. And people yeah. cheer and throw money. and yeah. It's the whole scene. Yeah. Well, I I'm indifferent to it. I wouldn't go watch it on purpose, but I also wouldn't go to a fucking. I wouldn't go to a slaughterhouse either. Wait a minute. See, so you, you're not gonna take a hard line on cockfighting. Okay. Let, no. let them do. It. All right. No, dude. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna take a fucking hard line on cockfighting. <laughs> 
I'm not dying on that hill. I don't give a <laughs> fuck one way, or, one way or another. I do some good news. That wasn't the good news about cockfighting? Nope. No. Oh. <laughs> Dude doesn't care one way or another about cockfighting. Good news. <laughs> and now, time for good news. Over in Cincinnati, there is this barber shop, and it's The Cut. That's The Cut on the West End. And it's run by this guy, Nick the Barber Baines. And he is trying to help kids. <laughs> He's the barber. Say the name again. Nick the Barber Oh, my Baines. God. And... Uh, he helps kids out by uh, encouraging them to read. So they they come to the store and then the kids read to the barbers, and he gives them a little, little extra money if they do on their uh, on reading. And uh, that's their, awesome. The reports and you know their grades and stuff like that. So here he is talking about it. Let me uh, see Nick the barber. Right. right now we pilot in a program a reading for barbers program, which will be able to help kids come down. They'll be able to read a book to the barber out loud, and if they struggle with any words or anything like that, we'll be able to help them with that word. And hopefully by the second, third haircut, they'll be able to get all the way through the book. Here, getting A's get you paid. And reward them. You know, a couple dollars, be able to take them to another level and help them for that next quarter to get better. They love it. That's awesome. Yeah, there he is. That's awesome. Nick's stepping up for his community. Shout out to you, Nick. That's fucking great, man. I got nothing snide, no no snide remarks. I think that's awesome. I think it's really good that he's uh he cares about the kids in this community. That's fucking cool, man. And that was the news.